Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. There's nothing better than starting the morning off with a strong woman who has overcome some strong obstacles. Now, Davina ended up finding herself in a position that she never imagined that she would be in, and that was homeless. Well, soon after she found herself in that position, she was determined to turn things around, and she found the support that she needed through an organization here in the Keys known as the Saint Samuel's house. Davina is going to share the rest of her story with us this morning. Davina, it is a pleasure having you here with me today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. All right, Davina. I understand that you were born and raised here in Key West, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm a fourth generation conk. Okay. But there did come a point, Davina, when you decided that you wanted to leave the island. Where did you go? Yes, in my teenager, teen, teenager years, I had issues with school and decided just to leave out of the area to better myself. Mm -hmm. And I ended up moving to Miami and relocating. And eventually I met somebody and got married. And um, pretty much the rest is history. After that, I had four children with him and we were together for 13 years. Wow, four kids. Mm -hmm. You were young too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know how you handled all four <laughs> kids. Okay, so you were married in Miami. You had four children but she didn't decide to stay in Miami. Yeah, eventually I went through some issues um, legally and I thought it was the best decision that in my marriage, for both of us, that I would leave mm -hmm. and relocate back to Key West. I was having issues in my marriage and as well as legal problems. So I decided it would be better for me to move down to Key West again okay. and relocate. <laughs> Okay, so when you came down to Key West, did you have a place to stay? I did. I stayed with my family. I mm -hmm. stayed with my family for a few months, and I eventually I got a job again down here. I've got, um, got on my feet. I got a place. Everything, um, everything was great um, until around July 2011. Mm -hmm. And then things just took a total turn kind of for the worst, didn't they? Yeah. I was um, having issues financially, and my... Child's fa my kid's father wasn't helping me out um, child support wise. I ultimately lo lost my place to live mm -hmm. and um, and I did have family that were willing to help me but I tried to do this on my own and mm -hmm. I took another way out mm -hmm. and I decided to enter into Samuel's house. Mm -hmm. And so when you entered into the Samuel's house, I mean, first of all, that's a really strong move on your part, Davina, to, to do that because you didn't, you didn't take the help from your family. You wanted to do this on your own because you wanted to be able to get back on your feet and provide for your family. So tell me a little bit about what happened when you walked through the doors of the Samuel's house. Well, at first I, I, I knew, I know who Elmira is and I, but I didn't know Samuel's house because I have been gone for so long that I don't know anything about the program. I was terrified and also just being a conk down here, I was a little ashamed and embarrassed at first and um, I had family members that told me the same but the night I got in there I felt sort of a calmness and mm -hmm. home feeling that it's going to be okay. It, it really the feeling when you walk through the doors of Samuel's house is this place is like a home, you know, mm -hmm. and I think I could do this. I can live here with my children because my children come first and if it's not safe or it's not comfortable, then I probably wouldn't have stayed, mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, so. But you found that comfort there. You found that peace and you were able to stay for a couple of months, right, Davina? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I did stay. The case managers are wonderful. We have a wonderful team. And that just sit there whenever you need something, they're sitting right there in front of you trying to f help you and find out what do, can they do to help get you further in life and get on your feet and independent. Now, they push you to get a job, too. <laughs> and, and so now tell me, though, Davina, because I, I know that it's a challenge here to be able to get a job. Okay, first of all, that can be a challenge, especially if you have children, to then be able to find child care for your children. Absolutely. Um, during my stay at Samuel's house, um, I do have a four-year-old son. He was three at the time and it was very difficult for me to have him with me and, and also work at the same time or look for work. And um, unfortunately, he was back and forth for family members until I can get on my feet. Mm -hmm. And that was a huge problem for me. First, it's very hard to afford child care and just, just not enough resources out there for that. And I, I had to split my kids up 
for that reason mm -hmm. during my stay. And um, it was very, very hard for me. It's still hard for me to this day that mm -hmm. I had to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely an obstacle that unfortunately down here a lot of women have to face. But you overcame that obstacle, Davina, and eventually I understand that you, you moved up in the Samuels House program. Absolutely. Um, I ended up having three jobs, part-time jobs, and one of the part-time jobs was being a monitor at Samuels House. Ultimately, I was um, just making welcome bags for the ladies and doing other various activities for the Samuels House that I could do. And um, an opening position came up for an executive assistant. I was also being considered for a case man assistant case management position through Samuels House. I decided to take the executive assistant position for Elmira, and I have been there ever since. I'm, I've been there a little over a year now. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't think there could be a better person, Davina, because you, you know what the women are going through when they walk through Absolutely. the doors because you were there. So you can really encourage them. And, and what do you tell them when they Pretty walk much, in? Pretty I don't, much, I don't judge or point fingers. I don't do that to anybody. But um, I share my story with as many people and women that I can just to let them know that you can do it. There's women that come. They're so discouraged. They have nothing. You know, some of them have their child, some of them have no children. And then when they hear, whoa, she had four kids and made it through this program. And the, and the look in my face as well, because I'm so thankful and blessed that Samuel's House provided such, such a comfort for me that I, would, I wouldn't probably have been able to do on my own, mm -hmm. to be honest. I, down here, it's very hard to survive. Mm -hmm. And... When women here, I have, I have motivated a lot of women <laughs> on the side <laughs> to get jobs and just let them know that you can do it. Go out there with confidence, and you'll see how much comes back to you. you know? as, um, if you go out there negative, negative will come back. And I took this whole thing as a positive. Um, it's got to, something that has to be, ha you know, something has to happen that's positive for all the negative I've had in my past. Mm -hmm. so. Well, and one of the positive things that's happening is that you're able to encourage these women. Like, you're really making a difference, I know, Absolutely. in their lives. And it's awesome. Thank you for sharing your story. It's inspiring, Davina. Thank you. And I, you know, I'll have to have you back again in the future. You can give us an update. And, and how old are your kids, by the way? My oldest just turned 13. Mm -hmm. I have a 12-year-old just turned 12, mm -hmm. an 8-year-old, and my youngest just is about to turn 5. Wow. On the <laughs> wow, you're a busy woman. All boys. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Move. All right, thank again, you. Davina, thank you for being on. And if you want more information about the Samuels House, you can just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there's much more to come this morning. Stay with me.